What's up, everyone? My name is Wasteboard. That's winning at stressful times every time. And at this time, guys, we are here. We are here. Guys, tonight at 7 p.m., the NCAA playoff rankings top six will be dropping at 7 p.m. But guys, before we get into that, here's mine. Let me know what you guys think about this, all right? Number one, I have Ohio State. Why? Because Ohio State beat Notre Dame, ranked team on the road. Ohio State beat Penn State at home, and then they just beat uh, Wisconsin on this road as well. And also, Ohio State has the best resume out of everyone in college football. So there you go. That is Ohio State. Number two, I have Florida State. Florida State beat a ranked LSU team that was ranked higher than them at the time. They beat them at a neutral site down in Orlando. Then they turned around and beat a Clemson team. But at the time, people thought Clemson was going to make a statement win and was going to come back because a lot of people thought that Clemson-Duke game was a fluke. Don't forget that. They thought Clemson and Duke was a fluke. So Florida State went to Death Valley, pulled up a win that we haven't won there in like eight, nine years. So there you go. I have Florida State at also Florida State beat Duke at home, which was a ranked game. Duke had a number four rated defense in the nation. Number three, I have Georgia. Really haven't played a lot of ranked games. Yeah, they will now. Like this week, in the next few weeks, Georgia will be playing ranked games. So it will mean more now than it did when the season first started. But you can only play who's in front of you anyway. So I th I think Georgia looked good versus Kentucky, and they dominated versus Florida. So I, I give Georgia the number three spot on my list. Number four, Alabama Christian Tide. Why do I have Alabama at number four and not at number five or number six? Because I think Alabama right now, they're rolling hard. And this weekend right here will determine if Alabama deserves to be a one-loss team that's ahead of all the rest. This weekend right here is determined that factor right now for Alabama. Alabama beat Ole Miss. They beat Tennessee. Two teams that a lot of people had Alabama losing to because what we see from Alabama to start the season. But Alabama ended up pulling out those two wins. So I gave Alabama the number four spot. I gave, so now we're talking about the two teams out. Number five, I'm giving Michigan because Michigan have not played a soul yet. They haven't played no one. So there you go. Not to say much about Michigan, but if you're playing less teams, you're supposed to look good every week. I mean, if your starters are getting pulled out the third quarter, you're supposed to look good every week if you're playing no one. So congratulations to Michigan. You've played no one, but you deserve it. Number six, I have Oregon Ducks. Why do I have Oregon Ducks? Because Oregon looks better than Texas, Washington, and Oklahoma. I have Oregon at number six. Um, they just beat a pretty good Utah team. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see what Oregon does down the stretch. They still have a few more ranked games to play over there in their division. And who knows, man, there could be there could be some one lost teams over some undefeated teams. They've done it before. And I know they've done it because I'm a Florida State fan. And I can tell you that back in 2014, the three teams that was in the playoffs had one loss. Florida State was undefeated. Florida State was ranked number three in the nation with undefeated record. So they don't care about they don't care about losses guys this committee doesn't care about losses. they could very well put florida state undefeated at the number five spot and put texas above them or oregon above them at number four trust me i've seen it done before i've seen it they've done it matter of fact i'm gonna show you guys on screen it i'm gonna put it up on screen um when florida state finished that year after they won a national championship in 2013 the next year florida state this is the only time this has happened guys i'm telling you with one loss wasn't the number one seed in the playoffs. And the other two teams above them was Ohio State, I believe. And uh, what was it Ohio State? No, Ohio State was number four. I believe it was Alabama that was ahead of them and some other team that was ahead of them. Teams that had blemishes. Ohio State and Oregon. That's what it was. I believe Oregon was number two. Florida State was number three. And Ohio State was number four. And Bama was number one. And they had an undefeated Florida State team at number three with two losses. With two teams that lost in front of them. So, guys, just know that anything can happen during this ranking. I'm going to see tomorrow what it is. But, um, yeah, I know that this committee definitely 100% sure does, doesn't value undefeated teams. But, guys, make sure you guys leave, leave like a video, subscribe for more. I'm out. Peace.